In this video, we will talk about the board account voting method. So here's how this method works. If you have some type of election, candidates are ranked by preference. You assign one point for last place, two points for second to last place, and so on. The candidate with the greatest point total is declared the winner. So let's check out an example of how to actually use the board account method. This says a university gives a survey to 200 students asking them about their preferred school lunch. The preference table below shows the results. Determine the winner using the board account method. So here's how to interpret this preference table. Wherever you see an H, that stands for hot dog, so that student chose hot dog as their preferred lunch. C represents cheeseburger, and P represents pizza. So for example, 36 students chose this specific order. They chose hot dog as their first choice, cheeseburger as their second choice, and pizza as their third choice. Similarly, 25 students chose hot dog as the first choice, then pizza as their second choice, and cheeseburger as their third choice. So that's how we interpret these results. Now, using the board account method, the third choice represents the last place choice. So the last place gets one point. Now, the second to last choice, so that would be the second choice in this case, this one gets two points. And then a first place choice gets three points. So we just assign one point to last place and then we increase the number of points each time until we get to the first place choice. So now we're going to calculate the total number of points for hot dog, cheeseburger, and pizza. So let's start with hot dog. We'll say H is equal to, here's how it works. In this first column right here, we can see that hot dog was the first place choice and 36 students chose it as the first place choice. So what that means is for each of these 36 votes, hot dog is going to get three points. In other words, 36 times three. And then to that we add, in this next column, we see that 25 students chose hot dog as the first place choice. So for each of these 25 votes, hot dog is again going to get three points. So we'll say 25 times three. And then to that we add, in this next column, we can see that hot dog got second choice. So for these 40 students, hot dog is going to get two points each. In other words, 40 times two. And then to that we add, in the next column, these 23 students chose hot dog as their third choice. So the hot dog is only going to get one point for each of those 23 students. So we'll say 23 times one. And then to that we add, in this next column, 41 students chose hot dog as their second choice. So we're giving two points for each of these 41 votes. And then lastly, in this column right here, hot dog was chosen last. So for each of these 35 votes, we're assigning one point. Now, if you multiply all of these out, so 36 times three plus 25 times three and so on, you will get a total of 403. So now we just need to repeat this process for both cheeseburger and pizza. So for cheeseburger, we'll say, we'll go through each column again. So for the first column, cheeseburger was chosen second. So for these 36 votes, cheeseburger gets two points. And then to that we add, for the next column, cheeseburger was chosen last. So for these 25 votes, cheeseburger is getting one point for each of those votes. So we'll say 25 times one. And we'll just repeat this process for each column. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that out. So cheeseburger ends up getting a total of 397 points. And then lastly, we'll repeat the process for pizza. So I'll go ahead and write that out as well. So pizza ends up with a total of 400 points. So we can see out of these three choices, hot dog had the most points with 403. So we would say that hot dog is the winner using the board account method. Now, one thing to note about the board account method is that it's possible to have a tie. So it's possible for two choices to both have the highest number of points. In that case, you would just simply write out that there is a tie between the winners. So just keep that in mind. 